Morning guys. I haven't been awake long and Nemo here is crazing me for some breakfast but uh, I've got to go to Sainsbury's first because I haven't got a tin of food for him yet. So, my plan of action for today is to uh, zip across to Sainsbury's pretty much right after I've done this segment of the video. <coughs> then, get myself some breakfast and get myself fed. And then I'm going to go across to the sorting office and, uh, at the post office and uh, pick up my parcel. But uh, it doesn't open until 10 and it's quarter past nine now, so by the time I've uh, been across the Sainsbury's and had breakfast and whatnot, that'll be open. Then I can zip across and get that. Because uh, it's literally a two minute walk from here to the sorting office. So <laughs> that is the one advantage I think about living where I live. I am close to all the. Uh, Amenities. Ooh, I'm still waking up. Ooh. So, that's the plan for at least this morning, anyway. I'm feeling a bit cold this morning. It's looking a bit dull out there, so I'll have to put a coat on, I think. Uh, Someone was supposed to be. Hang on. <sighs> Someone is supposed to be coming to... Uh, pick up a bike wheel today what if they turn up or not I don't know and, uh, the wheel's there if they want it da, 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 da. yeah so very sort of slow and groggy start to the video <laughs> Perhaps I should wake myself up before I start the videos. Never mind. It's more entertaining when you listen to someone who's half asleep. Uh, I suppose I should have a bit of a tidy up in here at some point. If the weather holds, I might go down and... Uh, mm -hmm. I might go down and uh, play around with rotors on the cord but to try and find one that uh, grips better than the one that's on it because I think that's got to be the problem because there's brand new di um, brand new discs brand new pads on that one yes I'll feed you once I've been through things I can't feed you something I don't have So once I've been to Sainsbury's, <coughs> once I've been to Sainsbury's, Mr. Nemo, I can feed you. Oh uh, yeah, I've got to play with that today as well because that packed up on me. It doesn't work anymore. I don't know why it doesn't work. It just doesn't want to boot. Oh yeah, that's right. Apparently there's a software issue, so we'll have to pull out the discs. <laughs> and try to reinstall Windows 2000 on it. Because that's what I was using to test that with last night, which works. So, the two-port one worked, but I've got to go across and get the four-port one today. So, my plan of uh, putting this in the lounge with the rest of the setup, uh, 
isn't going to happen because it doesn't work. Because <laughs> it was sitting down here. Originally I was going to pull the uh, Windows ME computer down from the um, war drive and use that to test the two port switch, but uh, then I realised I had the Windows 2000 sitting here that only had two cables in the back, so I figured it would be a lot easier just to pick that one up. I think it's just as well I did, because I found out it's not working. It was working when I put it on the war drive, it just decided to go, ugh. And give me the big middle finger and say, I'm not working anymore. Well, there will be something to do at some point, won't it? Try and get that working again. Meh. <laughs> it's getting annoying. I don't think I've ever known anyone that can yawn so frequently as I do. Right. Ooh, change. Put that in my pocket. Uh talking to mum on Facebook last night and she's gone and uh, broke her hand so she's got that all bandaged up till Thursday she's got to go to the uh, fracture clinic on Thursday to either have it put in a cast or she's hoping I'll give her one of those um, removable splints but I suppose it depends how bad the fracture is well they think she's fractured it Um, she's, I think they've, she's fractured the uh, scaphoid bone in her hand, uh, which she's done before. Funny story, actually, how she'd done it before. She was, um, where we lived at the time, was in a row of terraced houses, and she was friendly with one of the neighbours up the other end. There was only three houses in the terrace, but uh, to get to the neighbour's house, the front was sloped upwards, it sloped up to, um, it was an incline towards the neighbour's house. Was, uh, and uh, because none of the front gardens were fenced off, we used to, she used to take a shortcut along the grass instead of walk all the way to the end of the drive and along the path. And uh, this particular evening, it had been raining, the grass was pretty wet, and she was wearing I can't remember what she was wearing, but there was something which was um, highly in inappropriate for um, wet grass. Might have been slippers, actually, if I know Mum. And uh, she came walking back down the grass slope out front and just slipped. And when she uh, put her hands down to break a fall, she broke the scaphoid in one of her hands. I can't remember which hand it was now. I've even been. It's her left one now, and I think it might have been the left one back then. I think I'll have to ask her when I next speak to her. So, uh, whether we get to do a car boot this weekend or not, I don't know. I'm sort of going to throw a spanner in the works, because I needed the extra money, but... Uh, you know, she can't drive, she can't drive, so... I did think of the idea where... I could shift the gear stick myself because it's a manual car, not an automatic. It'd be fine if it was an automatic. <laughs> she could still drive with the um, other hand. But uh, being a manual, and uh, being that it's her left hand, and our car's over here a right hand drive, so the gear stick is on the left, <laughs> and it's her left hand that's um, broken at the moment. It's a uh, be very awkward for her to drive so I did come up with the idea that I could shift the gear stick but then I thought how is she actually going to drive here to pick me up unless we get stepdad to drive here to pick me up then we go back to mum's and then we could go from the car from mum's to the car boot that's the only idea I can think of <laughs> <coughs> But I'm sure we'll think of something close to the time, or 
I don't know, camps that, because I know stepdad won't do car boots because he'll get bored standing there selling stuff. He'll get really, 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 really bored and want to pack up early. <laughs> I don't blame him. But uh, the only reason I do it is because it doesn't bring in the extra cash. And it gets rid of your junk at the same time. <sighs> anyway, what have I got on for? Ooh, just over ten minutes. Ten and a half minutes. Right, so I'm going to turn the camera off. Go and get my breakfast. Feed Nobby Nuts here. <laughs> this is the only time he gets this nuzzy is when he wants his food. Please feed me. I'm hungry. I love you. I love you, Daddy. Yeah, you only love me when I feed you. <laughs> Bless you. Right, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, cheers. <laughs> Laptop moved. Ooh. I do slide pretty well on there. Right, so where were we before the cat distracted me? Oh, yeah. I'm going to go and get breakfast for me and him. I can't eat till I go to Sainsbury's either. <laughs> so, I'm going to go and do that. Then I'll go across and get the parcel, and then I'll turn the camera on, and we can open it. Even though we all know what it is. I just like to do it on camera. <laughs> it's something for you to watch. It's something for me to do. So, I'm going to go off and do that. And, uh, I'll talk to you again once I have the parcel. So, see you in a bit. What are you doing? <coughs> are you shredding paper? Because I could hear paper shredding. Hmm. Maybe not, because I can't see any shredded paper. <coughs> hear some noise in the bathroom and I thought he was shredding paper. <clears throat> and I just want to make sure he wasn't damaging anything I wanted. Anyway, he has a box. It's a bit of a tall box. <clears throat> so, let's go ahead and get it open, shall we? Even though we all know what it is. One. on this sender's address. Not everyone puts a sender's address on them. Right. So it's easy as that. Good. Nice chunk of padding. Oh, that was close. That nearly went in the bin. Oh, it's a box inside the box. Making me wonder why they didn't just, you know, send that. Well, I suppose I can't complain that it's not wasn't well packed. Could I? <coughs> you can't get any better packed than that. If it was me, I'd have just posted that. Personally, I think that would have been sufficient enough. You know, I'd have put a bit more bubble wrap or something in this box and just posted that. Cables. And here's Mr. Switch. I wonder what tape that is they've used to tape this shut, but that doesn't look like uh, ordinary sticky tape. And 
I'll just make sure I did hit record. I couldn't remember for a second there. Okay. Oh, I was seeing, I'm just seeing how it worked. Because I couldn't see any select buttons, but we've just got the one on the end here. Oh. Doesn't look like you need any external power for this one either. Well, there's no external power supply. Console on the end. So I did get the wrong cables for the other KVM switch, because this one's got uh, male connectors on it. Apart from the um, console connector. So... I needed a cable like this. With um, a male to male on both ends. Uh, okay, so I'll just have to look for another set of cables for the other one. That's, <coughs> that's not a problem. Not a problem. Set has very nicely uh, bundled the cables up. This is the tape he's gave used. It's sort of a, not reminds me of a medical tape, you know, when they tape um, bandages up and whatnot. That's what that reminds me of. It's probably not, but that's what it reminds me of. Here we go. One of those. Very good. Peel that one off without having to cut it. Some more rubbish down here to pick up. Hmm. To do with one more of these. I've got one more. I haven't lost. I've got two more actually. Dumbass. Okay, so we have our lovely bundle of cables. I just like how instead of putting all the cables in one lump of insulation, they've basically bundled three separate cables together. Um, I was half expecting when I was looking for these cables to find everything in one insulation with just three cables coming at the end, unless that was the easiest way for them to manufacture the cable. I'm not an expert at manufacturing these, so who knows? Right, right, go on there, go on there. Screw these down so they don't go anywhere. They're not numbered though. I assume the way the um, indicator lights there are positioned that it would be that's um, that says CPU A, computer A, so I would assume that would be computer A. And you've got B, B, then I would assume C and D, because that's how they're labelled. Yeah, it could be labelled a bit clearer than that, but. It could just be me being nitpicky. Um, I've got the one cable on. I'll leave that that for now. So, well, as I needed another one of these cables for um, this, because it only came with three of these and a VGA cable to go from here from the um, end console of this to a monitor which I don't really need but I'm glad I've got a spare one um, I've got that, the other two of these that I bought which don't actually fit the other KVM switch because 
the wrong sort of uh, cabals. I should have checked the ends, but never mind. Like I said, I do need the extra cable for this one, so it wasn't a total waste of 99 pence. <laughs> <coughs> oh dear me. I've got, you know, spare cable for this one at least. I don't need to use two port one yet, but I do know it works, so not all is lost, not all is lost. Actually I don't think I've lost anything to be honest. <laughs> right. So, I'm not going to try and get clever and wriggle this up. But, uh, true to form, I need to go use the bathroom. I must have the camera on. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is just go, go to the bathroom, and then I'll come back through and I'll get this switch set up. Uh, obviously, I'm going to have to place it somewhere I can get to the button. And, uh, I'll turn the camera back on and we can see how well it works, because I'll turn all three machines on. I want to bother with the fourth one for now. So, I'll, sorry about that, the card got f um, filled up. So, as I was saying, what I wanted to do was uh, upgrade the memory on these two Dells, which I have done, they've both got a gigabyte on them. I didn't think I needed to put any more than that on them. I could on this one easily because it's got four slots on it, but uh, I figured a gigabyte is enough. I'll just put AVG on it. Um, something else I was going to do. Oh yeah, I found out that the reason the audio doesn't work is down to the monitor. Yeah. Because I've put an audio cable directly from the back of this PC to the monitor, and it still doesn't work. Unless, I just realised, I don't think so, but put it on the wrong connector. I might well have been doing actually. <laughs> so, yeah. Shall we uh, see if Beethoven will play now? Nope. <laughs> So I'm guessing that uh, this doesn't work. I am protected. So what I'm going to do is uh, yank this one out. And I can get the VGA cable off. Power. Just drop those there. Drop this yeah. over there. Two seconds. I know this one works. Uh, you know what? I'm going to get a damp cloth to clean this. Look at it. What I'm going to do is just switch this lamp off. Hang on a minute. Main spots on. Stop it. Ow. Yeah, that's not a good idea. 
trappy fingers. Right. What damp sponge, that's what I want. Just give that wipe over. Cloth to dry it. Come claim. Ooh. Right. Sit you there for a moment so you can hear me bashing about with it. Right. So I need to plug in power. I can't remember what side it is. This side. Audio in VG A. So go. Hey, now we've got audio. It's doing all its necessary clickety clacks. Right. So, what I need to do then, what I want to do, is uh, pull the disc out again, so I can access Spaghetti Junction behind here, complete <laughs> mess. to work then I'll come through and just tidy all the cables up. But I just want to go through and tidy all the cables up just to find that the audio, as we know, wasn't functioning. But there it is. So, I'm going to try and get it to function. So, that's audio in from that PC. <laughs> Two more cables. So, I can do audio in from a dimension. will be number two, which is what I'll switch that to. And then I've got this one, which is going to be audio to the monitor, which goes on like that. And then to said monitor, like so. And it's working. So, there we go, I found the problem. So, I can leave that exactly as it is now. Now that I know it works. Just need to find one more of those audio cables, which I could probably get from one of the shops in town or something. Uh, not that I really need it, because I've got the desktop speakers here anyway. Which I think I'm going to... Um, Keep connected to the uh, main XP machine. So, right. So now I put the desk back. I oh, know that's all working and functioning as it should. Trump clinks and pops your monitor down a little. This is whatever it is, 
drawing grains on it. Scrub off. There's a crack in the front of it. In the plastic, not the screw. There we go. Doesn't actually look much better. <laughs> but it's working. It is working, that's all I need it to do. Let's just flick to. Oh, the other one had gone, gone to sleep. Okay. The onboard speaker is quiet. Oh, that's why the onboard speaker is quiet. Let's turn the volume up. It's better. Right, well, I don't think there's anything else I'd want to put on this machine. I need a rotten actually, but at least I know that the system is working. So, I will shut down each machine. That's much louder. And, uh, flip to the other one. That's got AVG on it, so I will shut this one down as well. is loud. Now that definitely proves that my audio thingy bodge up works. <laughs> there we go. The best thing is that um, AVM switch doesn't require an ex any external power supply so I'm guessing it takes mono uh, takes mono it takes power from the monitor cable or something, I don't know. It must get its power somewhere to work. So, there we have it. I've got one more machine to set up. Uh, when I decide what machine that's going to be. And, uh, I Ideally, I may actually set the advent up for now, just because I can sit it in there, and though I still haven't got enough plugs. Okay. Mind you, I can just plug in things as and when I need them, can't I? I'm going to turn that one off now, turn that one off now, not turn that into that off for now. And if I do need the extra plug, I can just whoop, pull something out, because there's no point having the internet hub on, unless I've got the PCs on. Right. It keeps clouding over today, but it hasn't done anything. I need to find a... Um, get these two packages packed up. I'm not sure what box I'm going to put the other thing in yet. I'm not even sure if I've got any boxes big enough for either of them. So I'm going to do that and go and get them posted because I've got people nagging me. Where's my item? It's still fucking sitting here. Because I've been fucking busy. If you can do what I do any bloody faster, you do it. Right. Lots of boxes, 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 boxes. A box of saws. In that case, I'm going to go in and read one of them. Is it? Box. Uh, I suppose I could make a box for it. Right. So, thank you for watching. Thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down if you didn't. And, uh, until the next video, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye. When I'm back, got everything uh, connected up, apart from the fourth PC.
I haven't decided what fourth piece I'm going to put in there yet. Since the uh, original plan kind of sort of backfired <coughs> in that uh, The uh, switch is working at the minute. Mm -hmm. We've got that. Yeah, we've got that. And disc in the drive. What disc have I got in the drive? I've seen much of it. I haven't heard audio. I'm not sure if my little audio trick is working. Uh, that's assuming that device even works, I don't know. It's, uh, I'm still booting up thing. It is. It's still power drive activity. do that before I do anything else. I've got to reinstall AVG on this, haven't I? AVG. Oh, hang on. Let's do it from Google. I'll have to do it that way. AVG. Uh, free. I use the free version. Downloads and installer, yeah, it does. Run the installer, yes. Where's my coke? I want a drink. Yeah, because AVG is bugged up, I'm going to remove it all and then reinstall it. I think that's the easiest option. Okay. Let's, uh... There, that could be deleted because I don't need those. AVG is updating because I've got the inter interwebs hub turned on. I might actually have to pinch this mouse to put on oh no, our card, I don't think. 
That's a nice mouse, but this is a PS2 mouse. PS2 optical mouse. Uh, I don't know, let's turn on another PC. Which isn't turning on. Why is it not turning on? What have I forgot to do? Fucking dumbass, I forgot to plug it in. I'll turn that one on then. So that's now lit up, so... If I do this... Yay! We switch to the next one. Cool. So it does work. So let me just go and grab a power cable. And get the other one. Okay. Let's Here's the power cable I had floating around early. Jesus, there's a lot of cables behind here. I don't think I've ever had a setup that's had so many cables. This is cool, I've got two PCs on and I can... Was it long enough? <laughs> Let's turn a third one on. Yep, I've got three lights there. Oh, it's rebooting. <laughs> switch between machines. Yeah, got audio through that one. Still no audio. Okay. Okay, so the mouse decided not to work for that one. It's working for that one. remember which one's which. Ah. This one's the 4600. Let's just restart. 
start there. I'm not sure if that Windows startup sound came from the GX60 or the 4600, so we start the 4600. Which is on B, if I remember right. Yeah. It's on B. Volume was turned down on the monitor, that might not have helped. Not muted either. No. Okay, okay. That one's working. It's working. Oh, that's quite cool. Let's turn that up. Audio. Oh. Audio doesn't want to work, but uh which is working at least, I can switch between the PCs, I've got three of them turned on and all I have to do is just go click, that's the Sony, new version of Java available, so Let's see if it'll install AVG is still updating. No. No. Do not 
want to ask as my default browser. anything now so I'll restart. monitor wasn't used now. red light blinks to indicate which um, one is in use. That's a good idea. Oh, look. Oops. I like that. Well, that's my coat nicely fizzed up. So i just got to wait for this to finish uploading, then I can run the installer again and reinstall uh, AVG. anything next close up down full screen I suppose if I am going to tinker with this online I'd better put a uh, antivirus on it hadn't I ah the g have a g fr oh shit wrong one I don't think it matters though. Mm. Uh, yeah, that was the wrong link I'm looking for. Ah, uh, ah, could be that one. Yep, that's the one. Free download, it gives you just the basic protection, but I've never had an issue with it. It's always done me proud, that's why I keep using it. Of course, there's others out there like Avast, which apparently is pretty good. I've never used Avast, but I have heard from people that use it that it is just as good as AVG. Trusted by 200 million users. Free 24-7 support. Official download. Right. Um, yep, this one's done restarting. This seems to restart faster than it does when I am... Um, run the initial turn on you know like a cold start so to speak when I first turn it on in the morning it seems to be slower there we go, click on the big AVG installer yes 
Close that out of the way. Hurry up and prepare my installation. This thing about chair with wheels, I can just roll from one one desk to the other. Except basic protection. Next. Next. Standard install. minimum system requirements. Probably not got enough RAM in it. Um, so let's customize because I will upgrade the memory in this one. Well, uh, when that's done, I don't have antivirus on this one either, I don't think. No, but I can uninstall. Um, an old printer I've got on here. Don't need that. When I was playing around with those printers. Next. Go back to this one. Next. Accept. Basic. Next. 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 I'll just let that do its thing. Uh, mm, no, because I've got other things to run install, so we'll restart in a minute. Whoa, no, I don't want to run and install the graphics driver. When I was in the bathroom early on my think tank, on my thinking throne, I was actually thinking that um, these KVM switches can be useful in uh, many applications, such as in an office, uh, or if you if you're running. Um, a few servers at the same time instead of having a monitor keyboard mouse per server you just connect them up to a KVM switch and away you go you'd only need the one set I've got two installs going on already Firefox on this one first. Oops. I don't know, it's just my preferred browser. I don't know what the maximum RAM um, is that can be installed on this GX60. I'll have to Google it. Run, run, install, close, because uh, if I can max it out with a gigabyte of RAM or something, that should be enough. Uh, I've got to 
do the same with the 4600, I'll do that as well. Well, I've got the means to upgrade the RAM. I've got plenty of RAM there I can use, so... Let's put our tops on that one. I think I've got to either wear the carpet out or wear the wheels out on this gem. I'm not sure which will happen first. Mind you, the carpet where I sit is fairly worn, and so is the desk. Don't import anything because there's nothing to import. Boing. I don't need to take a quick tour. Let's do some research on this one. I've got a type with two hands, so I'm just putting down for a second. What was it? Down. Flex. G. X. 60. Specs. Might as well use this one. Something. Got to go through my BT hub bollocks again. Does it every time. Every new machine I connect to the internet, it's got to do it. No, I am a fully grown 31 year old man. I do not need fucking parent controls. I'm good to go, am I? Well, make sure I'm good to bleed and go. Type all that in again now. There we go. We'll try again, shall we? Banging the knee on the Sony. I could actually shut the Sony down because I don't need that on now. In fact, I might just do that. Because uh, I've got some updates to go as well, so... As far as I know, that's a genuine version. Wow, that's finished installing already. Ah, bugger off. Finish. Right, so... Apparently it can take up to two gigabytes. Right, well that's something I can do later then. What about, let me just double check that. Ah, memory upgrade. Uh, memory, I'm going to try up memory, you can upgrade the dial to up to a minimum memory capacity of 2 gig. Yeah, right, so that is... That's alright then. There's two sources that tell me it's 2 gigabytes max. That's alright then. Let's just do the dimension under the desk as well, because I'll probably have to upgrade that. Dell dimension 4600. Specs. Ooh. Ah, this one's on CNET. Let's have a look at the specs. What's the uh that should have a two point eight gigahertz Pentium four on it. It's cache of memory. Ooh, up to two gigabytes again from the look of it. Uh I think both of these have only got two dim slots in. So and I've only got um five hundred and twelve gigabyte sticks. Apart from one one gigabyte stick. Just 
wait for the siren to go past. Busy today, I've already seen an ambulance come past. Uh, okay. That's what I want to know. Uh, I'll just shim back to this one, see how AVG is doing. I should have installed by now. Finish. Whee! AVG is back. I'm now protected. It's now got to update itself. Just what it's doing on this one, so I can't shut this one down yet. Right, well I'll check for updates on that one. While I go find some memory. Before I install it on the dimension, I think I will. I don't remember where I put the tray of memory. Oh yeah, it's over here. That's not all of it though. I do need to, if I'm going to put a gigabyte on, I do need to find a pair. Well, I'm, this came out of my old XP, this stuff, so... Uh, well, that's 128 meg, isn't it, that one? Yeah. Came out of that. Oh yeah, and that's an SD RAM anyway, and that's no good. Yeah, I've got four sticks in my hand that came out of my old... my old main Windows XP. I, uh... have now made my Sony Vio. Vio? Vio my main XP machine. Got some little bits of wire down there. So I was having a sort out before I went to bed in my big red box down here of odds and sods. That's a good shot. Screw's just gone straight into that tray. Let's get me this crap over there. Okay, so what have we got? That's the one gig stick I'm not always on about. So I could put a gig and a half on one of them. <laughs> if I could find one that will match. Okay, so. That's PC3200. Right, so that's a 3200. Are they all 3200s? I think they are, actually. DDR four hundred. Ah, so there's two thirty two hundreds, PC thirty two hundreds, and there's two DDR four hundreds. I can put in one. Oh dear. Let's see if I can get a gig and a half to recognise on one. That's a thirty two hundred, so I could. It's an NCP. I don't think I've got any more NCPs. That's an Infineon. Two hundred and fifty six meg. One hundred twenty eight meg. I've really got one of those. 256 meg. That's a 512, isn't it? Yeah. What's this one? Is it sorry? It's 512. 512. Oh, that's DDR400 as well. December 04. Uh, Right, I'm going to put the two matching brands there, because I'll use those. Uh, what was that, one gigabyte PC3200? Does it give me the megahertz reading on that one? No, it doesn't. Right, I won't use that one then, because I can't match it. Nope. Where's this one? Doesn't tell you, this is DDR400. 
the awful humble. Oh, sorry, not the camera. And we got here. That's 3200, so I could use the elixir. Or I could use a rendition. I think I'll use the elixir. So that's the memory I'm going to take through. I will take the rendition through as well, though, just in case a gig and a half doesn't work. Right, so I've got the memory to upgrade this with. That's done. Is it done updating or is it still updating? No, it's still updating. As is the main PC. <laughs> Let's uh, open up Facebook, which I actually thought I already had. to reply to Always come from somewhere. Just replying to an eBay message. Swing back over here. Oh, it looks like at some point the video stopped and restarted, so oh well. Just get blended in. Okay. That's done. Well, that's good. You can just cycle through the um, machines that are actually powered on, so you don't have to cycle through the off ones. That's a good one. That's good. Right. So what I'm going to do before I install AVG on this one, I'm going to upgrade the memory. So I'm going to turn this one off. Pardon. And this one. Okay, so the dimension has turned off. 